I said, I don't really give a crap. So goodbye and have a nice life. So yeah, I, yeah. It was a one night stand. Okay. So yeah. what what was it do you think that made you start having a thing for black guys? We um came here from um, Michigan. We didn't want to go. We had a bed three bedroom home with a basement, a nice backyard, a dog, our children were with us, we had a car, so we had a job, landscaping from, job. How did you go from that because to this? Just, how does that make you feel? It makes me feel crappy. It makes me feel bad, bad but, but it all started when I was seven years old, because when I was seven, I got a sexual <laughs> by my stepfather. So it, it always all started when I was young. That happened seven. when you were seven? Yeah, my father, my stepfather. And it just all started with it. Was it a one-time thing or was it an ongoing no, thing? No, it was an ongoing thing. And How I long did it, it go on for? It went on for What's up, YouTube? Hit the like button. Share the video. Now back to the content. What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews out here in Phoenix, Arizona. Hello. So how you doing today, miss? I'm doing very good. All right, all right. So are you homeless? Yes, I am. Okay, um, how old are you? I am 56. 56. And so how long have you been homeless? I've been homeless about 12 years. 12 years? So what was it that happened 12 years ago that caused you to become homeless? Um, it was... Um, just basically, um, I came down here with my boyfriend. I'm a, I got a divorce, and I wanted some more kids. My I, my divorce, my ex-husband needed one more kid, so I met a black guy. I wanted black and white kids, so I I divorced my husband, and I met a black guy in Michigan. So um, we met, and we had we were um, getting really close, and we ne we're not married, but we've been together for 24 years, and. Um, but a lot of things happened, and um, our, with our, and I had some kids. I had two kids with him, and but his sister took our solar children and got us TPS involved with us and the kids. So um, how old are the kids? They're um, 13 and 12. Okay. Yeah, and so, so the state took the kids, and yeah. you say you're well. Well, actually, the state didn't take them. The sisters got them. Okay. But she's a real hmm. his sister. Yeah, she's about me. Okay. Yeah, okay. Me. But you know, she did for his money. She wanted money. She, she, uh, a long time ago, I guess with her ex-husband, she got divorced from him because I guess they, they were running in bankruptcy because they had some kind of business and things were going really bad. So they got, you know, they lost their um, company and, you know, she got go bankrupt and she didn't have a lot of money. So she needed the kids to get some money so they took her kids for like food stamps and cash assistance and all that. I stuff. get it. I get it. All right. So, um, so you say that you was married. So you was, yeah, you was, I was married for 15 years to white. My guy. My guy. And yeah. so what age were you when you got married then? I was about 22. 22? So yeah. you're a young 22-year-old. You got married. Mm -hmm. um, did you guys have any kids? Yes, I have uh, two, two older sons in Michigan. Yeah. Okay. In, 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 the, in um, Novi, what's the area in, in, in Michigan? Okay. Um, how old are they? They are, my older sons are 33 and 31. Okay. All right. And so, I mean, you know, you guys were married for 15 years. Mm -hmm. Um, what was it that made the marriage dissolve? Because you said you eventually got with the black guy. Yeah, um, well, actually, it was a funny, it's a funny kind of funny story. And it's, I do his teeth, but look at my teeth now. But he was, it was because he lost all his teeth. Who, the white guy? Yeah. I just, and I, I just lost So, were, were you guys doing drugs? Yeah, we okay. were Okay, what drugs? Cocaine. Cocaine? Okay. So, what drugs cocaine. do you do now? Um, I'm pretty easy with weed. Yeah. No blues or G's? No, no, just weed. Now, yeah. come on now. You know I'm out here for real now. Okay, well, so I, I do blues and weed. I was about I don't to do say. a lot. I do what? blues and weed, but not a lot. Okay, so blues, basically. I get yeah. it. I get it. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. Okay, so let's just, let's, um, so you were married. Uh, did you get officially divorced? Yes. Same okay. Same um, did you start cheating with him before you got, before you left your husband? No, actually no. No? Mm -hmm. I just decided that I was going to leave him. You just so you left him first. Yeah. Did you meet this guy first, or did you? No, you I met got him involved afterwards? with another guy before him, a black guy actually. I was involved with a black guy actually, and I got pregnant. Pregnant in Michigan. Yes, I got pregnant. Did you have that baby? Yes, I did. But is, the guy, the guy didn't want anything to do with me or me or my son. And I told him, well, you know, um, I'm sorry. Well, I'm gonna have this baby, and whether you want me to or not, and I don't really care what you want. And he, he said, well, I don't want him to give you your child. So I, I said, I don't really give a crap. Goodbye and have a nice life. So yeah, I, yeah, it was a one night stand. Okay. So, yeah. what what was it do you think that made you start having a thing for black guys? I don't know. I've always liked African American children. They're beautiful. Yeah. They the, well, I mean, but you got married to a white guy first. Yeah. Well, I know it's just I don't know. It's just I've always had um, I don't know. I had an interest in my wife, my 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 ex husband too. 
I mean, he's very smart. He's like a 4.0, uh, great point average. Very smart guy. I like, I like dating uh, date, like date smart guys. I don't date dumb guys. I like date smart guys. And he was really smart and he had a nice personality. And just I just found him, you know, to be cute. And, you know. How long did the marriage last before it started to get dicey? Well, so it was, was 15 years. How long did it? How long was it good for? I would say not even like six, seven, eight. Years. Not even like how long? About seven years. Okay. Okay. But it was all right. It was all right. All right. It was fine. It was fine. And so, so you know, we were in Michigan. We met this guy eventually. Mm -hmm. um, you guys have two kids together. Yes, we have two kids. Okay. So, how many boys. kids total do you have? I have five boys. Five. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so, I mean, you know, the the two that are minors. When was the last time that you talked to them? The only kids. It's 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 a sad thing. Um, I haven't talked to my only kid in a long time. How many years has it been? Oh, um, maybe about 14 years, 14 years. I talked to him on YouTube. I mean, I talked to him on Facebook. But they, they, I, I asked my son one time, I asked him on, online on Facebook if he possibly could send me a few dollars. But he said, Mom, I don't, I don't think you need help. I think you find, you, you need to take care of yourself. And I really don't want you, and I don't give my, uh, my brother involved with, with the new means either. And I really don't want, actually want to meet me or your brother. You know, or my brother being involved with you right now because you're, you're doing bad things, you're doing drugs and that, I don't know. You know what I mean? Was he right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, he was right, yeah. So I mean, but, I mean it's how just, does, it's how does that make, how, it's just, it's how does that make you feel? It makes me feel crappy. It makes me feel bad, bad but, but it all started when I was seven years old because when I was seven, I got a sexual with my stepfather. So it, it always all started when I was young. That happened young. when you were seven? Yeah, my father. My stepfather. And it just all started with did, Was it a one-time thing or was it an ongoing no, thing? No, it was an ongoing thing. And How I long did it, it go on for? It went on for a while because I was too embarrassed to tell my my, um, my mom. So I, uh, eventually, though, I told my sister. Eventually How my old sister. were you when you told your sister? I about eight. Eight, nine years old. Okay, so I mean, it went on, but not like for years and no, years no, no, and no, years. No, no, okay. no. Okay. Okay. Man, I mean, so when you told your sister... What was her response? She got really, she was really angry because after that, she had find out after we were talking with the family and everything, they were all talking together about it, all his family, and they found out that my he was doing it to my brother, to my sister, and to me. It wasn't just, it wasn't just me. It was an ongoing thing with my, my family, other family members. You know, so when family your mom happened. found out, what happened? She divorced him. She divorced him? Right away. Okay. Did he ever go to jail or anything like that? He died. My, he died? My brother killed him. Your brother? Yeah, he killed me. He, he, he killed him. He killed him because of what he did. He was mad at what he did to me, so he... he How he, old was your brother at the time Well, my brother was him? in... My, my, my older brother, he's, at, he's, he's deceased now. He's been dead for a long a while. A, few, a, couple, a long time. His name was Gary. And he was in the Army. And he had PTSD. A lot of things were going on. You know, the Army, Vietnam. He was in Vietnam, so... You know how Vietnam was. And, and he went through a lot of things. And he got PTSD and all that. So he, his mind was all screwed up, and he was alcoholic. So okay. yeah, he drank a lot. So yeah, he pretty so much he, drugged he took him, him out. And so did took he took him out, got him partying, and, and he took. Did, did, did he him take him out like right away? Like yeah, yeah. as soon as the oh, information yeah. came mm -hmm. out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Wow. So how do we end up here in Phoenix? Uh, Phoenix. Um, basically, it's it's just, basically my um husband. Well, I'm not really. I married. get it, but yeah, you guys. Yeah, my guy. We um came here. From um, Michigan, we didn't want to go. We had a bed, three bedroom house home, with a basement, a nice backyard, a dog. Our children were with us. We had a car. So we had how a did you go from, job. How did you go from that? Because to his this? sister wanted to come down here to take care of his mother, my husband's mother. I mean, yeah, my well, my, my my boyfriend's well, mother. Well, whose house was it? Was it his sister's house or was it his house? Come to, to visit his, the the three bedroom house. It was our house. Michigan. It was our house. So why'd y'all leave y'all house to come here to? Because his mom, his mom was really sick and, and she needed help, physically sick and mentally sick, and, and she was in a home and they wanted to take care of. Her. They didn't want her to be in a home. They didn't take. She was going to take care of her at her house, but then things went. I things went know. left. I get yeah, it. Bad. So, okay, so I mean, so ultimately, you know, we're we're out here, we're on the blues and stuff like that. What are we doing? Like, are we content? Like, kind of just being on that? Or? Not really content because a lot of police officers are. Uh, so I mean, are we doing anything to try to get off of this? Well, and yeah. Get out of this state actually, of homelessness. Actually, I've been trying to, and I went to CBI, but it seemed every time I go down there, it seemed like they kind of like shove me aside. And 
ignore me kind of like and kind of put everybody in front of me and I feel like that, you know, it's not fair. So I just say, yeah, screw it then. I turn around and walk away. Because I, you know, I figure, well, if you guys really want to help me and you really want to help a person to get off this thing and get help, you're going to help a person. You're not going to just ignore the person and forget it, you know, and they, that's how they treat me. That's why I left CBI in the first place. Because I was with them for a while, a long, 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 long time. Okay. You know, dealing with, doing, doing rehabs. I did, I've been to a few rehabs. I've been to Copper Springs. I've been to, I've been to the um, CBI's. They really know me a lot. They know me very well at 24th, 24th Avenue. So I guess it hasn't really, uh, yes, hasn't know. panned out 100% though. No, but I really want to get out of here, get away from the drug scene. I want to get off the streets. I want to get home. I want to get, like, 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 Do you think you're 11 and 13 year old? Do you think they miss you guys? Oh yeah, I know they miss you. Uh, yeah. And I, so I mean, it, let me ask you a tough question. Much. Yeah. Let me ask you a tough okay. question. So okay. if they were to happen to come to you when they get a little older, yeah. and if they were to say, mommy, mm -hmm. Were the drugs more important than us? What's gonna be your response? That would be hard, but I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna have to say the drugs are more important. I mean, my children are more important than anything, but it seems like, I mean, it's gotta be the drugs because why would I, I would still be on them? I'd be with my children right now, right? Mm -hmm. And have a good life with them, right? If it wasn't for, you know, if it was you know, if I was, if, you know, I really love my, I mean, I love my children. Don't be wrong, I really love my children, but I think, I mean, in, in, in my mind, I feel like I I was um, messed up uh, mentally because I'm bipolar. I man, I'm man depressed bipolar. I am, I get severe panic attacks. I have been to jail. I've been to jail. I went to prison for ten months for a drug charge and a prostitution charge, but they they dropped the prostitution charge. And so I mean, I was just gonna ask about that. So being a lady out here in the streets, do you do that? Yes, I do. Well, okay. I don't do any more. Okay. And so at your lowest amounts, how much would you charge and how much would you charge at your kind of highest amounts? My highest would probably be maybe um, 200, lowest would probably be 20. Okay. All right. And so, and your boyfriend would be okay with you doing that? Yeah, was he kind of like your yeah. pimp type deal? He's, nope. Nope. But he's like cool with it? He's cool with it. He, he works together with everything we do. We're always together in every decision we make. Right. You know, and we, like I said, when we were in Michigan, he, he had a landscaping business. Yeah, but he had a good job. Like, so you guys was middle class. You guys we were, were doing well. Class. We were doing great. We were on top of the world. Mm. Also, we had our kids. It's just, we made the wrong decision. Mm. I mean, it was a good decision for his mom, for the purpose of his mother, being sick and trying to take care of her down here. But it was wrong because we lost um, all the, we had All the stuff that you had built up. Michigan, yeah. we built mm. up and we had a good life. All right. Well, listen, Miss, we really appreciate you taking the time answering mm -hmm. all of our questions. Mm -hmm. If anybody out there wanted to reach out, help, or donate, do you have a way they could do that? Do you have social media, cash app, anything um, like that? Yeah, I have um, I have a phone, but it's like... It, what do you have, Facebook, Instagram? Yeah, Facebook. Yeah, okay, Facebook. what's your Facebook? Facebook is L-O-B-E-R-T-S-A-N-D-R-A-22 um, at gmail.com. Okay. Oh, I get it. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, listen, miss, we appreciate you, and we mm -hmm. definitely wish you nothing but the best. All right? Okay. Thank Make you sure very you have much. a good one, sweetie. All right. Well. All right.